Hi everyone, Glenda Mollett here and I'm in my craft room with you stamping tonight and I have a special guest in my craft room. James has decided he wants to watch Grandma make a video so he's promised he will be quiet and not kick the table. Quiet I don't mind. The kicking of the table could be an issue if it happens so there might be an earthquake but it won't be too severe. All right, so this is one of the October 2020 monthly club cards made with the Dove of Hope bundle. And I'm going to show you how to put it together. All right, so we're using, we're using the Dove of, Dove of Hope bundle, which is the stamp set and the detailed Dove dies. We're using the Winter Snow Embossing Folder some rhinestones and the largest um, layering circle die, not the scallopy one, just the regular one. Some white cardstock and some Knight of Navy and some vellum. Okay. Now this card was inspired um, by one made with Craft with Ronnie. I never did find her name on her blog but that's what her blog is called okay so this is the inside piece but where's the piece I have to wait I only got myself one of those uh oh hang on real world problems not enough cardstock okay so I hope I didn't do that for all of them Hey peeps, if I mailed it off to you and you don't have enough Whisper White cardstock, you need two pieces, five and a quarter by four, one for the inside and one we're going to emboss. So if I didn't give you enough, let me know and I'll ship you another piece. As you know, things are not perfect in the land of craft room. All right, so I'm just going to run this through Maxi and give it some um, snowflakes embossed on it and then turn my machine back into die cutting because we have to cut a circle and other stuff okay so there's the there's the embossing part and it just goes straight on to the card base And I'm using Stamping Seal here, my favorite new adhesive. Make sure my card opens properly. Mind you, this embossing folder does not have a direction to it, so if I don't stick it in the right direction, I can just turn it over. Because you know, that happens all the time. Okay, so a piece of Knight of Navy, and I'm going to cut the largest circle out. And then we have some vellum. And get my dies out. And this set of dies has the detailed part of the wings, and then it has the part for underneath the vellum, and then the detailed part of the tail is in with the body, and then this is the one that does the vellum that goes in behind the tail. So we're going to need to cut two of those and we need one of these and I also want to cut one of the the um, what are those called? What does a dove carry? Olive branch? Sure, let's call it that. Okay, so let's stick this through. Maxi. I'm surprised James is not laughing his head off at the moment. He's being very good sitting there in the corner. Okay, now he's laughing. Yeah, we spent the day going to Tofino and back to book our, our camping for next spring. Then he decided he needed to come home with Grandma and watch me make a video. Not that this is the most entertaining thing in the world. But he seems to think it's important to do, so who am I to say no? Okay, so I have that. 
We have wing piece and a tail piece. This is going back where I won't lose it. And we need one more wing, but we also need a body. A body, and we need two of these wings. So we'll just stick that on. Now, one thing I didn't one thing I didn't do was just um, refresh my computer, make sure I'm oriented properly. So I'm going to run this through Maxi while that's happening. And then if it's not oriented properly, we're in trouble. As I've already made half of the card. Okay. So there we are. We got the other wing. So we have two wings, a tail, and the olive branch in vellum. Yeah, we're oriented properly. Okay. And then we have the body and one wing in white. I'll just take get that out of the, the die. Make sure all the pieces are gone and I'm going to cut another one. And then that's it for die cutting. There's not much die cutting to this. All right, there we are. Let's take that one out. So we went to Tofino, which is an hour and a half drive. And of course, with the road closures, we had to wait a half an hour. So it took us two hours to get there. We get there and there's, what do you say, James, about 30 people in line? Yeah. There was 30 people standing there in line to book sites for next year. Who knew that Tofino would be that popular? Well, it turns out that we didn't have to be there because they're all making reservations for June, July, August, September. And um, they were booking them for the more popular spots. And we go there in March. So... The guy said to us, oh, no, you don't have to worry about that next year. He said, I wouldn't bother. Okay. So now I'll know for next year that we don't have to go and waste an entire day. So I just put adhesive on this part of the wing because I like having my, my wings loose. If you don't want to have your wings loose, then you can put um, adhesive sheet on the back or some glue but this works fine they stay together so there's one do the same thing to this one so then we had to come home which meant another half an hour waiting in line for the road to open at the at the closure but we did get a walk on Long Beach and there was so many poppers there that's one of the favorite pastimes when we go to Tofino is walking the beach and and stand, stepping on the poppers. Now those are um, kelp that float up and they have this big air globule thing on the end that has the has the roots that hold it to the bottom of the ocean. And when they come up, they're they're crispy. So you can step on them and make them crispy, make them pop. There was tons of them today. It was awesome. We haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, oh, I just put adhesive on the wrong side. I like this adhesive because all I have to do is this and it's gone. So I got to put adhesive on the right side, not the back side. Now you can use the uh, glue dots for this too if you want. And then this just, come here. Uh oh, stuck to me. Let go. This just goes on top like this. There we go. Okay, so now this one 
So put one on the top. Kind of, sort of, like that. And then we put one on the bottom. And this is wherever you think they look good. Just have to move some of that back out of the way. Wherever you think the wings look good. You know, don't sweat it. Here we are. So there's our bird. All right, next is to put this on. Our card front, which is where? Where did I put it? James, where did I put the card front? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Yep, some things just don't ever change. So that kind of goes at the top, towards the top. Now you're probably going, wait, you didn't put the dots on. Yeah, you put those on afterwards, so you only have to put them where you see. Okay, so now I'm going to put dimensionals on the bird. You don't want them to show through. And we'll put a couple on there. Take the backing off of them. And stick that somewhere that looks good to you. I'm going to do it right. Don't forget we have the olive branch to do yet. How about that? Sure. Okay, now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of the olive branch. Now if I was smart I would have had my silicone mat out here, but I forgot, so that didn't happen. Now just tuck that down underneath there, like that. And we'll just rub this adhesive off here so it doesn't stick to things that it shouldn't be sticking to. See how easy that adhesive comes off? I love it. Okay, so this is a chalk marker. And if you don't have one, you can use a white gel pen if you have one. And you just dot dot. Which is funny because you can't dot squares. Okay, that got a chuckle out of the quiet one. There you go. That's it. Dot where you like. All right, next step. Sentiment. See all that? We haven't done any stamping yet. Okay. This is, um, this sentiment is from the same stamp set and I can't get my head in the way. Sorry, I have to move it down a bit or I can't see if it's straight. Okay, pray that it's straight. Oh, yes, not bad. All right, so while I have this open, I'm going to do the inside and the envelope. So I have this little dude. my inside of my envelope. So this is the inside and it's oriented this way. And I'm just going to put a, a dove in the corner like that. And then we'll do the envelope. There we are. Okay, that out of the way and I'm done with Knight of Navy. Now, the, the sentiment comes from the same stamp set. May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And I did that in um, Soft Suede. 
I didn't want it to be bright red. I wanted it to be a little more softer. So that's why I chose soft suede. Okay, and it just gets stamped right there in the middle. My stamping is good today. Yay! It's not crooked. Come on. Turn. I keep telling myself as I'm doing this, you don't need to use a lot of this stuff. It, um, you only need little bits of it. Okay, put my card back. Now, Knight of Navy marker, hang on. I didn't do that on my original one, but I know that some of you like to do that, so I'll just get it out so you have one to look at if you want to put the Knight of Navy marker around the outside of the inside. Just like that. It's better if you put it on before you put your adhesive on. There we are. So there's the difference. There's with the outside of the inside done, and this is without the outside of the inside done. Either way is good. Okay, sentiment, dimensionals. And we'll just put that right down at the bottom. And I like it off to the side. You can put it in the middle if you want. There we are. Now, to finish it, add some bling. And I chose to do just regular clear rhinestones because... I didn't want to add any different color. So one goes in the eyeball. And we'll put one up here. And we'll put one down here, over here, over there. You know, the third one's always hard for me. I never know where to put it. Because I don't want it to be in a straight line. Right there looks good. Right there looks good? Yeah. There we go. Expert opinion from the peanut gallery. Okay, put those away. Okay, so there we are. Card's done. Envelope's done. There's the original one, and there's the one we made today. Now, a little tip. How do you guys store your how do you store your embellishments? I store them in the the um, stamp cases. Like this. I have one case for each embellishment and then I can keep my spare ones in there too so I know whether I'm running out or not. And then they sit on a shelf like this and they're right within my reach. So it doesn't matter what embellishment I'm looking for. It's right there waiting for me. Okay, so there's the first card. Um, there's a, a little bit of embossing on his body which is really quite cool. All right. So thanks for joining me in my craft room today and I can't wait to stamp with you in person with the monthly club or you'll there's a few people that will be joining us virtual as well. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Stamp and smiles and bye for now.